looking at the game right there in your hand right there. Actually killed it right there. Yeah. Right there. Super awesome. C is awesome. Yeah. Set it down here. That ain't too bad. Yeah, yeah, this is the end. Alrighty. Oh, Alright, Fun game. Yeah. Golden Eye definitely fun. Saw something else in here. No, that ain't. That's a PS4. Alrighty. 80 bucks? Yes, sir. Alrighty. I'll be sure to let you know if I've come across anything else like that. Yeah, let me know, man. There you go. Count that. Make sure it's all there. Yes, Alright, man. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Y'all have a good sale. Always on the lookout for some Tommy. She said three. Three? Okay. Because we're going to be selling a lot of furniture and everything in the said house. said three on that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any, like, uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, anything We like will that? eventually. Like I had told her, we're, have, we're moving out. We have mm -hmm. to move out by April 7th. We've sold this whole property. So yeah, I'm going to have another did. sale. And we'll have, we have a pile of DVDs and a pile of VHSs. Okay, We awesome. just got to go through them. We didn't get to go through <laughs> them all. Sure, no problem. But I'll, did you see it in the paper? I saw it on Facebook. Okay. I'm going to post it again both places. There you are. Okay, Just thank there. you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, it is. Oh, you had all kinds of stuff. You had PS2 oh, yeah. as well? All right. That's good. Do you happen to have the AB cables that go with it? Oh, that's them. Okay. Right there. Great. Great. So Fantastic. Go right there. Awesome. So we got that. The two controllers. Nintendo. It's okay. I refurbish oh, yeah. consoles in case they don't work. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Run that little game right there in your hand right there. Actually killed it right there. Yeah. Right there. Super awesome. C is awesome. Yeah. I haven't played it in so long. I've got a bunch of Nintendo games in my collection. I still don't have that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I was able to finally get it. I used to play it back in the day. Man, it looks in good condition. Yeah, just having a movie sale, man. I hear you. Moving and... You have your garage sale. 
Yeah. Is that 80 bucks? Yeah. All right. I ain't taking all that stuff with me, man. <laughs> Tried to do it like online and stuff. Yeah. And like last night, I lied to you not. I think I looked back at it, dude. I stopped counting. It was like 300 something people for that one thing right there. Oh, man. Lady came. Maybe I know these were two dollars. Yeah, I got them back. So what do you? The cassettes you I got. Yeah. Off the rack yeah, right there. Yeah. And then okay. the cassettes. So you tell me how much these are. How much you? I think pay. they. Um, I think the sign said a dollar each. Okay. For all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So One, we'll two, say five. three, four, five. Mm -hmm. All right. That works. That sounds fine. No, I've got a backpack on. Okay. okay, so for pickups, the very first lot we have an N64 console. It was missing the expansion port or expansion cover here. I always keep spares of these. This was by far top three most disgusting N64 lots I've ever picked up. The inside of this console was full of bugs and dead roaches. The board looked like crap, uh, but I got everything taken apart thoroughly clean from the inside out board shell everything came with first party red controller uh, it does have a bit of a loose stick but the controller itself works great um, there's no sticking issues no button issues did not come with cables but i had spares and the games oh my gosh these games had corrosion all over them, all over the pins. Luckily, I spent a good amount of time cleaning them, and I was able to get every single one of them to work. So we've got FIFA 64, Fox Sports College Hoops 99, Star Wars Racer, Shadows of the Empire, Gex 64, Blitz, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Doom 64, Diddy Kong Racing, GoldenEye 007, and Super Mario 64. All of this is going to be for resale, so uh, either look for it on eBay or I might have a whatnot auction coming up soon where I'll just auction off the entire lot. All right, next two pickups were from two yard sales that were next door to each other. Found one lonely PlayStation 2 game, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. It is complete. I cannot pass up dollar video games. It's an addiction. When they tell me it's a dollar, whether it's only worth five or six bucks, I got to get it. Even though I probably already have this game, but it's an addiction of mine. Uh, the case is a little messed up, but the inside looked really good, so whatever a dollar then we've got vintage 1990s tommy hill figure i uh, paid three bucks for this should be able to sell it anywhere between 25 to 30 bucks all right and the next lot was an awesome little deal for 80 bucks got a nice condition gamecube with the dual ports on the back the only thing that i found that was wrong with it it is cracked right here other than that, the inside was in really good condition. Tested, works great. Came with power plug and AV cables. Also, it came with two really nice condition first party controllers. And these sticks are in really good shape. Um, I'm going to pair this particular console up with a first party cons or excuse me a third party controller that i have and uh 
a brand new third party controller and then sell these separately and maximize profit. These will sell for about anywhere between $30 $35 a piece. The console with a third party controller, uh, 85 to 90 bucks. It did come with one lonely little game, which was Teen Titans, tested and working. The Nintendo came with two controllers, the zapper gun, the power brick, and the RF cable. Then it came with a little stack of games, two of which I'm going to add to the collection. The other two I'll sell off with the console. We've got Mario Duck Hunt and Commando. I've already got those two. Those will be sold with the console. Super C and Mission Impossible Complete, complete in Box. Uh, the manual's in really good condition. It's got all the extra inserts in there as well. Really nice condition. Mission Impossible does have some bubbling on the sides, but overall in really good condition. So happy to add that. Definitely happy to finally find Super C. Out of all the Nintendo games I have, I'm just now adding that one to the collection. All right, so got all of that for 80 bucks. Not a bad. And the last pickups for the video were just some cassette tapes for me. Um, Pokemon the Great Race and Pokemon Poker Friends. Anytime I find these older cassette tapes, I like to snatch them up when I can. This was completely sealed. Should be able to sell that for, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks on eBay. And you saw me pick up the TDK SA90 five pack tapes. Each one of those sold for $34.99. I paid $5 for the, uh, the three tapes and the two five pack cassette tapes. Five bucks all in, I'm in. That's easy money. They sold within 24 hours of listing. Um, new old stock like that, especially uh, SA90 tapes, which are CD quality, uh, they sell really quick. But folks, there you go. There's the pickups for the last for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.